Starship is one of the most exciting projects that SpaceX is working on, and Elon Musk finally came forward and gave a presentation about the progress of Starship after more than years. So, it is kind of a big deal. But was all the hype worth it? Well, let's find out by having a look at the key takeaways from Elon's presentation. But before that, please subscribe to Futurefile to watch more fascinating videos on space. SpaceX was not very vocal about the progress of Starship in the past few months and this made people question the progress of the project. But since Elon Musk announced that he was going to give a presentation about where is the Starship project, everyone was hoping to know that something big was coming. So Elon gave a very comprehensive presentation on Thursday the 10th of February, and everyone kind of stopped for a moment just to know what exactly was happening in SpaceX. As we already know, Starship is a rocket that is designed to not only deploy satellites, but also send humans to Mars. Starship is going to bring a revolution in the field of space, and it is a very big deal, mainly because there are not a lot of projects of this level. So, what were the key takeaways exactly? Let's check them out. One of the biggest highlights of the presentation was when Musk said that Starship could return right back to space within a few hours after landing. It not only means that it will save time, but this reusability will make space travel a lot cheaper than ever before. Though SpaceX is not ready to fulfill this great claim yet, but as soon as the Starship is ready, it will have the capability of being reused consistently. Also, this reusability will open a whole new chapter of space travel. Rocket Lab is also working on its reusable rocket that is a lot bigger than the ones they used to make before, which we all know is inspired by SpaceX. So when Elon says that Starship will change the course of the space industry, Musk also emphasized the point that he always emphasizes about the multi-planetary life and its importance. According to Musk, Starship is going to be a big step towards the multi planetary life because it is big enough to transport quite a lot of people to Mars. The interesting thing about this presentation was that Musk presented an idea that was more or less similar to Noah's Ark, as he said that at some point we would have to travel to Mars and we would not want to do that alone. So we will also bring our loved pets with us. It simply means the concept of multi-planetary life is not only going to be for humans, but for animals too. A proper clip was also shown in the presentation that depicted how the launch of Starship is going to be. Even though SpaceX has released such clips in the past too, but as the Starship is in the final stages, the newest clip is more accurate and closer to reality. The launch sites are also a bit changed than they were before, and this presentation made it clear where exactly the launch could take place. Musk declared that they would have to evacuate larger areas of population in order to actually initiate the process of launch. So it will take a bit of time, and this launch currently could only take place in either Texas or Florida because other sites either do not have the facilities or such larger areas that the Starship needs for its launch. Musk also announced that he is also expecting the approval for the launch to arrive by March, and then the launch preps will officially start. Also, Musk told the media that there is going to be a lot of noise when the Starship takes off, and even the cities will be able to listen to that noise. Musk also shared his thoughts about how things could go really wrong on Earth and how we would not be able to save humanity if we do not do anything now. So, for sustaining life, we need to spread it out of the Earth too. Though Musk has uttered this idea quite a lot of times earlier, it sounded more convincing this time because, with the Starship, it feels more practical and tangible. He also said that we would have to build cities on Mars as soon as we can, and Starship certainly is the first step towards it. There were quite a lot of technical things in the presentation as Musk outlined all the specifics of the Starship, and according to him, it is going to be very, very big. He also said that the Starship has 33 different engines and a booster that will take the Starship to orbit real fast. According to the presentation, the Starship is 400 feet tall, and it is quite heavy too, but the best thing is that it can deploy a lot more satellites than any other spacecraft. The next big thing about this presentation was Musk's announcement of reaching the Earth's orbit by the end of this year. It should also be noted that he has given similar statements in the past too, and in 2019 he was confident that Starship would reach orbit in six months. But with all the progress that SpaceX has made in the Starship department, we can say that it is highly possible that SpaceX will launch Starship this year, as the approval is also on the way and we will soon hear an official statement for the launch. Musk has made a pretty big claim by saying that Starship will launch in 2022, but he seems pretty confident, so we hope it does happen. Musk also gave a sneak peek of boosters and engines of the Starship so that everyone gets the idea of how amazing it actually is. Though he has already talked about the booster and engines in his earlier presentations back in the day, but a quick recap was necessary to make sure that people do not forget how Starship has changed the dynamics of space travel. Musk also constantly emphasized his point of multi-planetary life, 
and he said that there would be a time when SpaceX will be able to manufacture Starships every three days. So multiple Starships will be launched every single day. Some of these ships will carry satellites, some will carry travelers, while others will carry both. This idea of manufacturing ships so quickly is a first step towards moving the population to Mars. If SpaceX manages to actually build a Starship in three days in the future, there would be no one to compete with it. Musk also announced that SpaceX is planning on manufacturing one booster along with one ship every month. It sounds like pretty big claims considering the fact that it took years just to build the current Starship, but it might be possible now, considering that they have all the resources and technology. Musk also introduced us to the Super Heavy booster, which seems to be his favorite so far. He told the people that originally Super Heavy was 70 meters tall, which was a little too much, so they had to remove a few parts to reduce the height. The engines are also quite advanced in the Starship, as Musk talked about the Raptor 2 engines being used in the Starship. He also said that these engines are more compact and efficient as compared to Raptor 1 engines, but the problem with Raptor 2 is that they seem to be melting quickly. Elon Musk also talked about different ways with which they have reduced the size and weight of the Starship, otherwise it was becoming a little too big, he said. When it comes to the cost, Elon has made sure that it stays low. So, he said that Raptor 2 cost almost half the price of Raptor 1. The purpose of this statement was just to let people know that SpaceX still is all about low-cost space travel, and they haven't forgotten their motto. Elon also said that he is trying to incorporate the concept of orbital refilling, and it'll be a shock to him if this method does not become a norm by the end of 2023. The concept of refilling a ship in orbit might sound bizarre, but it is very much practical, and Elon has explained it in all the presentation. So what do you think about this presentation of Starship by Elon Musk? Did it fail to answer all the questions? Tell us in the comments section below. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this next video that is shown in the end screen. See you there.